Guys, it's only week two and we're already going to be testing the AFL to see what they rule on the Nathan Broad vs Patrick Parnell sling tackle case. Let's take a look at the original incident here in round two when Richmond faced the Adelaide Crows at Adelaide Oval. As you can see, the original tackle was fine. It's the second action where Broad picks up Parnell and he sling tackles him down into the ground while pinning his arms, which is very dangerous. As you know, the player is not able to defend themselves, put their arms out to protect the head. He hits his head and the Adelaide Crows have confirmed that Parnell has concussion from this. So possibly even just out of spite, the Adelaide Crows should go after the AFL and after Broad for this dangerous tackle after McAdams was given three weeks last week for this potential to cause injury tackle, bump, whatever you want to call it, on Jacob Ware. As you can see here, McAdams got three weeks for this bump, but Ware was able to play the rest of the game after being taken off for a HIA, which he passed. Now don't get me wrong, I don't want this sort of bump in the game as it does have the potential to cause injury. The reason I was frustrated with this was that Cozzy Pickett, in my opinion, had a worse hit than Shane McAdam. But Cozzy Pickett got two weeks and Shane McAdam got three. Regardless of that, the AFL have set precedent that that sort of bump from Shane McAdam is three weeks for the potential to cause injury. Now, in saying that, if the potential to cause injury is a three-week suspension, then what is the suspension for something that does actually cause injury? All eyes will be on the AFL, the MRO, the tribunal, whoever, to make the right call here. If the AFL want to say a bump which takes a player out, but then he's able to play the rest of the game and the next week's game is a three-week suspension, then what is the suspension for someone who actually takes someone out and either knocks them out or concusses them? It has to be at least four weeks. If it is anything less than four weeks, then the AFL are a bunch of hypocrites. Back in 2021, Scott Lysette tackles Ned McHenry in a slinging tackle, which he knocks him out. For this, Scott Lysette got four weeks. So if Broad gets any less than four weeks, then what are we doing here? I will be keeping a very close eye on this. I don't like the action. I don't like the commentator's opinions about how much of a good guy Nathan Broad is. I don't care. The action is disgusting. If McAdam can get three weeks for bumping someone for the potential to cause injury, but then a injury actually occurs and he gets three weeks or less, that is an absolute farce and the game is an absolute joke. This needs to be four weeks. The AFL needs to send a message that these sling tackles and concussions are no joke. You do this action, you get four weeks. It has to be. If they don't, I don't know.